do you think animals are still so widely used in labs? We've kind of touched on it a bit, but why, what do you think are the kind of main couple of reasons? Well, I think one of the main reasons currently is that a lot of the regulators globally still require animal testing as mandatory in order to uh, approve a product or a drug for use. But I think that that has also um, kind of spread this sort of defeatist attitude in a sense among the scientific community and it can almost become a universal excuse while well, the regulators need it. Well, we know that they do at the moment, but we need to really challenge that. We need to change that and question it. And I think one of the other reasons is, is that resistance to change. People are in their comfort zone. They've maybe got 30 years, a whole career's worth of animal data, and they feel really uncomfortable about saying, well, actually, I'm going to move to something different now. Um, so I think there's a lack of education as well amongst the scientific community and amongst the regulators. Um, I think there's a lot of double standards applied. So um, what happens is if there's any shred of doubt about the um, predictive ability of a new um, animal free test, the regulators will say, oh, we, you've got to go and do the animal test as if the animal test is going to be considered perfect and the benchmark. But we know those animal tests never got validated. They just got adopted for use without any of the stringent validation we do now. So there's a real fault there that there's a the gold standard, the benchmark is faulty. So to say, well, you've got um, a small issue here with your in vitro test, we're going to now require a company to go and do an animal test. Well, that's, you can't assume that that's going to give you the right answer. Um, Terrifying, actually, that's the standard. That <laughs> It is. I mean, they still default to that because it's their comfort zone that they've been using for decades. But I think that there are double standards Definitely, because, yes, it's only right that we have stringent requirements to validate new tests, but let's remember the limitations of the old ones as well. Mm -hmm.